वेलकम टू मेड इजी एंड वी आर हियर टू डिस्कस अ फ्यू वेरी गुड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन और यू कैन से वन ऑफ द बेस्ट क्वेश्चन विच हैव बिन आस्ड इन गेट एज वेल एज इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज फॉर द लास्ट प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन एंड दोज क्वेश्चन आर लिटिल बिट स्टिक इन दन सेंस कि वेन यू गो फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम नॉर्मली स्टूडेंट्स थिंक दे आर लिटिल बिट लेंदी लिटिल बिट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड एंड समटाइम्स स्टूडेंट हैव स्टार्टेड इट एंड द टाइम कंज्यूम्ड वॉज लिटिल बिट मोर So, sir, uh, first of all, the first question which I am taking that is from the Pert CPM. The question uh, was asked uh, in Gate. See, this was the question. A project has four activities P, Q, R, and S as shown below. The data is given. For the four activities, their time durations are given, and the precedence relations means you have to make network diagram here. And then cost slope is given. What does cost slope tells? The amount of increase in the direct cost if you want to decrease it by one time unit. the amount of increase in the direct cost if you want to decrease it by one time unit and no limit is given means you can crash suppose if in a question no limit is given crash point is not given normally in crashing they give normal time and crash time means crash time tells the minimum time up to which you can crash it or decrease it but in this question they have not given anything means you can crash it to any point you can crash it up to any point So see, first of all, we'll draw the network diagram. Then the data is given here. The normal cost of the project is rupees ten thousand. Now, in this question, that was very confusing regarding solution part. See, whenever they say that normal cost of the project, that normally means total cost under normal working condition. That's why ideally here it should be the total cost should be. See, so in this question, total cost should be rupees ten uh, thousand. Means the sum of direct and indirect cost under normal working condition. Ideally, it should be. That will is the total cost. That is the sum of uh, direct cost plus indirect cost. But see, in a uh, few solutions and even in gate solution, they have taken this ten thousand as only direct cost. And the problem, which I am going to tell you, is they have taken direct cost as only rupees ten thousand. But do remember, whenever uh, they used to say normal cost of the project means total cost under normal working condition. That exactly it means. the total cost under normal working condition and uh, but uh, you can say in the question which was asked they have assumed it to be the direct cost only then the indirect cost is given overhead cost that is indirect cost is given indirect cost is given rupees 200 per day and indirect cost we know is directly proportional to project duration to so see first of all they are asking now they are asking uh, if we crash it up to 9 days what will be the total cost of the project what should be the total cost when the project duration changes to 9 days so first of all here we should draw the network diagram based upon the data see p doesn't require anyone there is no need of any activity before p to we'll draw the network diagram p doesn't require anyone and uh, its duration is 3 days duration time is of 3 days then uh, q is after p and r also after p to so see q and r both are after p q and r both are after p and q and r both are after p q is of 7 and r is of 4 days 7 and 4 day and uh, then s is after r, r and of 5 days after r we have to start s and that is of 5 days this was the network diagram data is given the based upon the data we made a network diagram then we'll perform forward and backward let numbering of the event 1 2 then 3 and 4 we have numbered it then uh, we will find out the total cost the uh, normal cost uh, project duration and the total cost under normal working condition which is already given so see earlier start time 0 there is a uh, one option for event 2 that is 3 for event 3 uh, also a single one option 3 plus 4 it should be 7 For four, there are two options: seven plus five, twelve, and three plus seven, ten. Maximum is twelve. To so see the project duration will be of twelve days. 
then backward pass taking e equals 12 for the last event for event 6 single 1 option 12 minus 5 it is uh, 7 for event 2 there are 2 options 7 minus 4 3 and this side 12 minus 7 is 5 you will select the minimum value that is 3 and for event 1 single 1 option 0 now critical the maximum time consuming path and uh, for the critical activity uh, there are 3 conditions required first of all head event slack should be 0 tail event slack should be 0 and their difference should be equal to activity duration so where for, uh, for the activity for which all these three conditions are uh, satisfied that activity will be our critical activity so by joining the critical activities we will get the critical path you see like for activity 2 4 tail event and head event are equal but the difference is not equal to activity duration see 12 minus 3 is not equal to 7 that's why it is a non-critical activity let's see this is our critical path so under normal working condition project duration is of uh, 12 days and uh, the total cost of project is rupees 10,000. Now see in the in few books solution they have taken direct cost as 10,000 only then indirect cost 12 into 200 they have added and you know, already indirect cost is given rupees 200 per day so they have multiplied 12 into 200 they have taken 2400. Now see first of all we should go for crashing. Now see first crashing, now always we should crash minimum cost slope activity along the critical path, minimum cost slope activity along the critical path. To so see P, Q, R and S, three activities are there, P, R and S. See the minimum cost slope is for activity S, so we should crash activity S. Now by how many days we should crash activity S? We should crash activity S see the network diagram see this path is of 3 plus 7 10 3 plus 4 7 plus 5 12 now if we crash it by two days there will be two critical path so see first of all we should crash it by two days do remember in crashing we crash an activity only when because of that crashing our project duration can decrease do remember if the project duration is not decreasing we should never crash any activity so suppose if you crash it by three days then also the project will be only decreasing by two days so if we crash it by two days or even by three four or any number of days project is only going to decrease by two days so that's why we are only going to crash it by two days you see crashing by two days crashing activity s by two days in the network diagram I am changing from 5 now it will be of 3 days now see what will be the effect if we crash it by 2 days in the network diagram only we can change it rest of the see things will remain same now 3 plus 4 7 that will be the same this side 7 plus 3 10 and this side also 10 so now this will change to 10 and rest of the things will remain same now see 10 minus 3 7 means this activity will be also now critical and what about the total cost now see total cost is a sum of direct cost plus indirect cost see how much of a direct cost will increase the cost slope of s was 200 if we decrease it by one day 200 rupees increase was there means how much we have decreased by two days so see direct cost will increase by 400 understand why 400 because uh, we have crashed it by two days and the cost of crashing by one day is rupees 200 and indirect cost will decrease that is directly proportional to project duration now project change from 12 to 10 days two days decrease and by decreasing one day 200 rupees decrease so that will be 400 rupees total decrease will be there so see direct cost will increase by 400 decrease by 400 means our total cost should remain same there is no changes in the total cost after first crashing it still it will rupees 10,000 uh, what about the dare increase in the direct cost the same amount of decrease will be in the indirect cost that's why the total cost should remain same there is no changes in the total cost hopefully everybody understand then after that uh, we should go for uh, further crashing because we want to move up to nine days now second crashing see
second crashing. Now, second time when we are going to crash, oh now there are two parallel critical paths. So different combinations will be there, and we have to select the best one. Huh? Different combinations are possible now. Now, first combination is you know there are two parallel paths, one, two, three, four, and second path is one, two, four. Now, first option is we can crash P by one day. We can crash p by one day if you crash p only by one day see it will become of two days two plus four six six plus three nine and two plus seven nine that is the first option the second option is if we simultaneously crash five and q see whenever there are parallel path we need to crash activities in such a manner that our summation uh, our uh, activity duration should project duration should decrease so there are two parallel critical path here that's why minimum two activities should be crashed then only our project duration will decrease see why we are crashing like that suppose we, if only crash q it will be of six days then three plus four seven plus three ten project will remain ten days so that's why we need to crash simultaneously two activities the so second combination is r and q by one day each And the third combination possible is S and Q by one day each. Now, out of these, which one we should prefer? There are three options through which we can uh, decrease the project duration. We can change the project duration from uh, we can change the project duration from uh, ten to nine days. Now, out of these, which option we should select? Now, see, when we are crashing single one activity, we select the activity for which min cost loop is minimum. Now, when we are crashing two activities simultaneously, we should prefer the option where the cost loop summation should be minimum. So again, we'll check it out wherever the cost slope is minimum. Now, see the cost slope for P, how much it is? In the question, it is given the slope for P is 500. This so for P, it is 500. R and Q. See, R is a 400 and Q 100. So their summation will be 500. 500, their sum of cost slope is 500. Third option, S and Q. See S uh, and Q, 200 plus 100, 300 it should be. 300, their summation of cost slope is 300. Now the minimum cost slope is uh, for the third option, so we should go by the third option. So we should crash simultaneously S and Q by one day each. So see, I'm crashing it, it will be of two, and this will be of six days. Now the changes in the project duration here, it should be the same, three plus three, three plus four, seven, that will be the same, seven plus two, now that will be nine, taking e equals to l 9 minus 6 will be 3 the project will change now of uh, 9 days now see very simple what will be the effect on the cost we can compute out how much of a direct cost is going to increase now see the total cost is again the sum of direct cost plus indirect cost direct cost is going to increase by 300 the summation of the cost loop of uh, s and q is uh, 300 and indirect cost is going to decrease by project is only decreasing by one day only one day decrease means our indirect cost should decrease by 200 rupees what will be the net combined effect our total cost should increase by because increases of 300 decrease 200 the total cost should be increasing by 100 rupees and like here it was the total cost was uh, 400 decrease so that total cost remain constant the same amount of increase and decrease was there to so here it remains same but here it is 100 rupees increase means now total cost will become rupees 10,100 so that will be our answer here do remember in some solutions you will find it to be 12,500 the reason is they have started with taking this as a direct cost only and uh, project is of 12 to 12 into 200 2,400 additional they have added so that's why that will be different in few solutions you will get that uh, is debatable we should not go to that point but do remember whenever they are asking total cost of the project means total cost under normal burning condition means total cost of project that will be our answer here 10,100 and some books you'll find 12,500 the reason is this one means 100 rupee increase will be there 
So that's a, will, that was one of the uh, good questions they have asked from crashing. Hopefully you like it. Do remember to share and uh, subscribe the channel. Meet easy.